The following interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising. Okay, my Coco friends, let's see if you can answer today's Colorado trivia. How many astronauts have called Colorado home? Is the answer 20, 13, or 9? The answer? Big old whopping nine, including Scott Carpenter, who passed away in 2013. He flew on the Mercury 7 mission. Jack Swigert, who was also elected to the United States Congress, flew on the Apollo 13 mission, and unfortunately, he passed away in 1982. Very accomplished men. Well, you know, spring break is just around the corner, and don't you leave town because we have a lot of fun right here. Stay in Denver and enjoy all of our city, what they have to offer. For example, you can check out the popular Star Wars and the Power of Costume exhibit at the Denver Art Museum. And this morning, we have a very special announcement. I'm so excited. Stefania <laughs> Van Dyke is here along with Lindsay Ginshaf. They're joining us this morning from the Denver Art Museum with the breaking news. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. What is it? What is it? Well, we're, we're thrilled to announce that that um, we've extended the exhibition by a week. Very so nice. Instead of closing April 2nd, we're now closing April 9th. So. so if we haven't had a chance to make it down there, what can we expect? You can expect, um, you can ex still, still expect to see a lot of uh, people there, mm -hmm. but um, we'll, we'll have about 70 costumes or a little over 70 costumes as well as about 300 other things that we added from Skywalker Ranch. Uh, uh, drawings and models and really fun behind the scenes things. Look at that costume. Yeah. Just amazing. My, We grew up on Star Wars. I Are know. you kidding me? Mm -hmm. A mom of boys? I yeah. have to go. What are some of the reactions you've heard from guests? Oh, people are really generally loving it. Um, there And there's a lot of surprise actually. People who are not Star Wars fans who have been kind of dragged there by, um, <laughs> by their family members <laughs> they're actually saying we really enjoyed it because yeah. of the creative process that they're exposed to and all the details of the costumes and you know just seeing how, everything that really goes into the artistry of it. I just saw R2-D2 yeah. and CP3O. What are some of your favorites? Well I love um, the Padme Amidala gowns are kind of mm. the most fashion you know haute couture of the bunch um, but I do love like Chewbacca and Han Solo. They're you know nostalgia right there for yeah. me. And to see Princess Leia too, yeah. just the passing. That's so Miss Lindsay, what's mm -hmm. special at the Denver Art Museum for spring break? Well, spring break is going to be March 18th to April 2nd. And during that time, um, everything that we have on the weekends, we're gonna also have on the weekdays. So tons of art making. So if you love to make art, yeah. um, you can make, um, go to our Create and Takes called Light the Way and make a light up animal. Um, we ca you can also make a little tote bag based on our American Indian bandolier bags. And then we're also doing a play Every Very weekday nice. here. <laughs> there, there you go. go. She's a pro at TV <laughs> now. <laughs> um, so it's a really fun play that helps you um, really get the content and context behind some of our permanent collection pieces. And then you get a little, this little trading card pack to go find the pieces in the galleries. So it's super fun and it's really great for all ages. Oh, I have to tell you, I mean, my kids have, when they are, were in elementary school and also in junior high, they go on field trips. Favorite place for my youngest to go. Okay. Favorite place, nice. yeah. So That's we haven't great. seen the Star Wars exhibit. We'll have to go now. And what other activities that kids can do together by making art and they can do it with the families too? Yeah, and there's just basically in every gallery, we have something for families. So there's all these little nooks where you can either play a game or you can make art. You can, um, you know, go to this play. You can check out mm -hmm. a backpack. You can. The, um, a whole day of adventure for spring day of adventure. Break. And you can go to the costume studio, which is super fun. So the costume studio is a place that, you know, you really go to Star Wars and get inspired by those costumes. And then you go into the studio and you can, um, we have these light up tables where you um, can really create your own characters and really decide what costume would be right for them. And then yeah. you could go drape it on the um, dress forms <gasps> in the other part of the studio. Yeah. You could spend hours there. Yeah. And who knows? Your kid may be the inventor of the next uh, Star Wars That's figure. Right. I mean, I George mean, Lucas, keep an eye out. we got some smart kids here in Denver. <laughs> so if they want to see the Star Wars exhibit, what should they keep in mind, Stefania? Yeah, it's it's really important to um, look at our website, um, denverartmuseum.org, because um, the tickets are selling out on the weekends. Even now, we've just announced this extension, but um, if you still want to go to the website and get your tickets. Um, and there are also extended hours as well, as, as, long as, as well as the extended date. They're um, on 
we open at 9 a.m. on weekends now, so um, that's earlier, and Good. then some evenings as well. So check out the website. How much are tickets? Um, it varies depending okay. on like the the weekends are a little bit more because there's more of a demand. Yeah. Um, but it depends on if you're a member or not. So uh, again, the website's going to be your best bet to, to check it out. It has to be so fun though to see people's reactions as they're yeah. coming through. Yeah. I think everybody, at least in our age, well. Our age group. I'm a little bit older than you, yeah. but I mean, <laughs> grew up on Star Wars. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so exactly. to see the costumes yeah. in person and what went it's into so it, it's so exciting. It's it, really, it really powerful. It, it's called the power of costume, and it's it's true. It's truly powerful to see these things in person. And also the music and mm -hmm. all of the that the layout of the exhibition exhibition stuff just did an amazing job of really making it more of an experience, not just you know going yeah. and looking at yeah. things. There's like. It's an experience. Is so. Jabba the Hutt there? No. Well, actually, we do have a painting, uh, oh, you a do? concept painting by Ralph McQuarrie. For those of you who know, Ralph McQuarrie is a great concept artist, one Good. of the earliest ones. We have a painting of Jabba. Yeah, because I don't think Jabba wore any clothes. It was just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm. right. Well, you heard it right here first. The Star Wars and the Power of Costume exhibit at the Denver Art Museum has been extended. You now have one extra week to reserve your time slot to see this out of the world display. For more information on the special event and fun spring break activities, visit this website. Go to denverartmuseum.org.